Hi there, this is Phil Simberg of the BackgammonLearningCenter.com with a little sample of how I recommend using deliberate practice to help improve your game. Here's a very complicated position. Uh, it's called a containment game where Red has gotten lucky, he hit blue and he's got to contain him. So uh, instead of looking at each move each time that you make a mistake and trying to study and learn each move one of the things i do is try and learn the concepts of play here and become good at playing this position so i'll play it out many times and keep looking at my mistakes and keep analyzing them and keep trying to improve and play better and better next time without making so many mistakes until i can finally get it down to where i pretty much have it mastered then when i do i'll change the position a little bit i might make the five point here i make uh make another point for blue. I might put a third checker back, what second pecker, checker back, whatever. Uh, and I'm playing it on Extreme Gammon, which is the best software, will give me the right answers in the right plays 99% of the time, and, it, and it, it is excellent software. I'm glad to say I help uh, develop it and, and promote it and market it. And uh, this is the most definitive tool that we have. So let me show you what I do. I hit Control C, saving the position, and now I'm going to hit Setup, play from position and I'm going to be the bottom player player one and the top player or blue I'm going to just play against extreme gammon at a pretty high level professional not the highest level because I want it to be more like it is when I play other players I'm going to hit start and now I'm going to uh, hit the start button and see how to play double one think about it a little bit I think there's a little question in my mind how I would play it but I'm going to play and make the five point. That's the most important point to block. And I can instantly see here that I made the right play. Because I'm at zero and it shows that. And that's why uh, it's the right play. Uh, blue danced. I also have to think about when I have a recube. And I have some theories on that. I'm not going to double yet. I have a four one. Well, I think blocking this point in case he rolls a two six and having this as a builder is a pretty good thing to do. Let's find out. Sure enough, it was right. Again, I'm playing at zero. By the way, this isn't the first time I played it. Well, I want more builders in case he rolls a 1-6 or a 2-5. So I'm going to get another builder in position. That also helps me make the bar point. Let's see if that's right. Again, good concept. He came in. Now I'm under a little bit more pressure. Double fives. Um, can I make this point? That's the first question. One, two, three, four. Look at this. I made a six prime. Brought it home. I'm playing perfectly, partly, partially because I have to admit the rolls were not that challenging. They were pretty obvious. I think most players who played this perfectly. And bringing this home is not that much more difficult for me, so I'm not going to continue. But you've got the idea. Anytime I make a play where I was wrong, uh, I'm going to make sure I understand it. If I don't understand it, I'm going to get help. But I'm going to, after I'm satisfied that I got to the point, of course, you can continue playing this out and see if you can bring it home and know when to recube, because a lot of people are going to miss the recube here and not get that right. But I'm not about to give that lesson right now. What I'm trying to do is show you how to use the machine. So when you get to the point where I want to play the game again, I hit Control V. I don't save this game. It sets me up in the original position. I can do it all over again. If you do this 10, 20, 30 times and you look at your mistakes every single time, you will become a master at this position. You become a master at playing a containment game that's like this. And uh, one other thing you might do is right off the bat, think about how you would play every single role and test it. Uh, I looked at how do I play a 1-1 a, a one, one was easy. Uh, how do you play a 3-1? That's easy. How would you play a 2-1? 6-5, double-5. I got to the point where I could play all of the, open, the first roles perfectly with the exception of double five that I really made a huge mistake on. I'm not going to give you the answer. I want you to find it out for yourself because you'll learn better. But if you don't understand the play, uh, that's where the BackgammonLearningCenter.com can help you. Hope this was a good uh, exercise for you. Oh, one more thing. When you're playing it out, if you don't want to see the answers right away and, and, get, uh, and go back and look at it later, you can hit Control-Alt-F to block the uh, the, the playing panel and you can hit control alt n and go back these are all in the guides about the layout and how to play and how to use extreme gamut it is great software i recommend you get it i recommend you find a mentor or a good teacher and uh, you'll enjoy the game more you'll win more but deliberate practice is the way to really sharpen your game and this is a good example of how to do that thanks for watching phil simberg from the backgammon learning center.com